Bullring, and we are back. Thank goodness we are back. We're here in the late models open, just jumping in. But if you missed my tweet and uh, Discord announcement, I got it back up and running. Thank goodness. Um, it turns out it was the motherboard. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a motherboard out of his old computer that he was not using. So I swapped that out, and uh, it's working perfectly. Um, that motherboard that I used to have was like the original one I built the computer with in like 2014. And I've been wanting to upgrade it, but I've been putting it off because swapping out a motherboard is about the most uh, pain in the butt kind of upgrade you can do. <laughs> Which is not fun. Mostly the CPU cooler, that's... That's the most ridiculous part. It's always just a huge pain swapping that. But it didn't go too bad. Um, I got home last night with it at like 11 o'clock and I stayed up until like 1.30 or 2 in the morning trying to get it up and running and get everything hooked back together. Thankfully it started right up. It's working perfectly now. Um, I thought it could have been the motherboard because those PSUs, I mean those are pretty sturdy. And the motherboards don't really go out that much, but that that motherboard has been giving me little quirks and fits, like since I built the computer. It's it's been strange. It's it's done some strange things, and I don't think I ever could figure out how to get the BIOS updated on it. it just wasn't a very good motherboard. It was some gigabyte thing. But now I've got this old Asus thing, and it's working great. Um, and looking forward to having it not break hopefully knock on wood hopefully no more computer issues we got enough shifter and pedal issues to deal with but uh, that was good though it gave me an opportunity to get the whole inside of the PC cleaned which it green desperately flag, needed as well flag. here comes your first time left so that worked out okay now we're here at the bull ring which I have very little experience for running Daniel's setup See if we can't qualify good. We're number one. one more lap to go. There's like nine people here. That's like my best lap of all time. I ran like a .4 in practice. The key is just to not overdrive it. That might give us pole. We'll see. I just think uh, the second best time, or the, the in flag, the practice man. beforehand, it's the best over. time was a .3, and I ran a .4 for second place, and now. 0.29 is probably pretty good, as you can see. But yeah, what I really think happened, uh, I think my computer saw uh, Martinsville NIS coming up in like two days and was just like, nope, just self-destructed, <laughs> just just to make me miss that race. Honestly, uh, not a bad idea, computer. But uh, no, it, it actually broke. I was not going to... Was not planning on missing any races. Nick was joking. That was just to get out of Martinsville, which probably would have been worth the effort to just completely break the computer, not to have to run that race. But, uh, no, I did not do that. I was very worried that uh, I'd get that motherboard from him and swap it all out, get it hooked up together, and then it would still be doing it. Because I tried a different PSU as well, and it still had the exact same issue, and just not not a fun time trying to troubleshoot all that. Like at one point, I had I had unplugged everything from the motherboard except for uh, the RAM and power, and obviously the CPU, and it still like it wouldn't turn on. It's just flashing. So something went out on it, some cap or something. But uh, we got it sorted, thankfully, and we weren't out of racing for too long, though it does feel weird coming back after like two days of not doing it. it took me a minute to figure out how to turn left here at the bull ring, and hopefully uh, we keep the pole here. We got the three car not doing anything. Is he even here? He, I think so. I usually don't start uh, recording this early because this is a lot of dead time, but figured I'd announce the computer is working again. 
It seems to be working really good. Only problem is uh, he forgot to give me the I.O. shield for this mo uh, motherboard, so <laughs> kind of running without that in the back. But he's he's got it. He found it, so he's going to give it to me, and I'll have to take everything out again and put that in eventually. But that'll be okay. We got 50 laps here at the Bullring, car number one, starting on pole. Not worried about if I win or anything like that. Just hopefully it's clean. Uh, I think the last, the only other time I've raced here was in the late models, and I think we got taken out running top three by a lap car, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, man, line up on the inside row. Pit road is closed. I'm really glad I got the, uh, of fuel to finish the race. computer fixed up before the K5 championship at Nashville Super Speedway. That's definitely one I don't want to miss. I might still run trucks at uh, Martinsville just so... I don't get super lucky and have to miss all the Martinsville races. Might as well subject myself to at least one. And uh, no doubt trucks in Martinsville would be absolutely awful. As it always is, anything there is just the worst. But uh, let me make sure tires are off. If we get damaged, hopefully we don't. Gonna get a good jump, hopefully, and not overdrive the car or get loose. It's a little bit loose on the exit of four, but it's not too bad. And hopefully it's a good one. I was worried this wouldn't even go official. We had like three people signed up until five minutes to go before the race launched, and then all of a sudden it jumped up to nine people signed up. Because I really wanted to just get a quick race in, be able to get this video out soon. So I ran trucks, um, that's going to be like an hour video, at least, hour and a half maybe, with all the cautions, and that's going to take a full day to upload and process. This one I might be able to get out tonight, we'll see. And people are blinking. That's the three car, I think. The three and the two both have pretty high ping, I think I saw. And let's hope that uh, we can get through this without wrecking. Getting a good jump in these is a very big advantage because uh, there's no cautions, obviously. We're gonna have two laps to green. Hopefully we can do okay. Hopefully we get a top three, top two. But we're at least gonna lead a couple laps, I think. Just need to not overdrive it. Like entering turn three, it's blind, sort of, with the uh, the pillar right there in this car. It's kind of hard to see. All right, man, we're going green next time. Bye. But we'll see what happens. And stay back a little bit from the pace car. Get ready. I'm gonna go like as soon as we get straight out of the corner. All right, oh, man. Wow. The pace car is in. Or before we get into the corner. Green, green, green. All right, can we be quick? We can if we really overdrive it. Not for very long. Yeah, we're not very fast or consistent. But that's fine. We're entering too shallow. Hopefully, they get to racing hard behind us and uh, lose time. And they got wrecked. Car stopped ahead. So, I guess got that's what happened. Stopped ahead. Got a car Where stopped is ahead. it stopped? Tell us. Okay, I think you reset. Just try not to overdrive it. I'm getting terrible exits out of turn two, though. We only got, like, one guy behind us now. And I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm so out of practice. It feels so weird. 
really feels strange. Like, you don't think just taking two days off would do much, but it has thrown me off completely. But I think we're still quick. Would really love to stop overdriving in turn three, though. I think the four car was going to be faster than me before he got wrecked. But now he's out of it. He's trying to be smooth, nice and easy. We got point nine behind us. Take care of the tires a little bit. Still doing our best laps of the race, being this nice and easy on entry. We got people coming Come out of the pits. That car is a lap down. Right man, that car is a lap down. Inside. Okay, all he clear, stays all on clear. the apron. Thank you. I'm looking at the F3 and not watching corner entry. Very smart thing to do. Still point nine though. so easy to push up out of turn two with how sharp Low car ahead. the exit is. These corners are so sharp. Car stops down low. We got a couple lap cars here. People still having some issues. Eight cars going way wide. Outside. To avoid right, man, him. That car is a lap down. You're clear Didn't high. want him clear to hit high. the wall and spin down and get me. Try to give him a bunch of space. Three gets by him as well. All right. Oh, and the three Pretty just dude. got spun. You're a lap car and you just wrecked me. I'm running second. Yeah, that's about what happened to me last time yeah, I raced here at Bull Ring, so that's unfortunate for him. We were going to have a good race, I think. You're a freaking joke. Six laps down. Why are you running up like that? You almost wrecked the leader, too. Now we got no pressure. Hopefully we can just uh, not get wrecked by the lap cars. Got the five here. Okay, outside. They're getting out of the way. Thank you. All clear. All clear. Almost five seconds now. Just got to be nice and smooth. We don't want any stress or competition. We're just here to tell everyone the computer's working again, we can race, even though I feel completely off rhythm and out of, like I'm not comfortable in the car, which feels strange, but hopefully we get back to where we were. But yeah, no pressure behind us now. Just can't wreck. Alright man, that car is a lap down. And we're not even halfway yet. Uh, that's what happens, qualify up front, you can get uh, ahead of all that nonsense until you get to lap traffic and then more stuff could start happening. Hopefully we can avoid all of it. Three car here. We're about to lap now. After his issue, the two car is the closest, next closest behind us in second and he's dropping five and a half back. I'm just being easy and smooth, trying not to push it on entry too much. And hopefully we'll be okay. But yeah, I was really worried I'd have to go like two weeks without doing any eye racing, which would have been a huge bummer. Missing all the K5 Championship races and my car ahead. Wednesday oh, man, we time slot with the ahead. Legends. Go high. Would have not been a good time missing all that, but thankfully we only missed a couple days. And at least during that time <laughs> that I would have been able to upload now. World of Outlaws from my laptop. That was going to work okay. I used to stream a little bit from that back in college. 
So it's it's a gaming laptop. So it's not terrible. But uh, it's getting a little bit old. I think it's like a 2019. It's got like a 1050 in it, I think. All right, man. Halfway this time. Just not a halfway. Hopefully the three doesn't take out his anger on me. I didn't do anything to him. Take a look at the tires when we're done, maybe, but I haven't been pushing at all. Look to the inside. Outside. Okay, he's gonna give it to us. Thank you. You're clear high. Clear high. He's got right, no man, reason to fight me. Down. Nobody here does at the moment. Four cars in third after being wrecked. Man, we coming around nearly going to lap the entire field. Talk about feeling uncomfortable in the car. <laughs> and if I win this race, that'll be interesting because this is only my second ever race here at this track. I'd like to, we have 20 laps to go see if I can hit the wall down the front stretch a couple more times. Little, little scrapes. But yeah, I think me and the four car and the three could have all had a really good race until they all got wrecked. I, somebody ran, I think just got the four on corner entry like ran them over I don't know if it was the three or somebody else but those two had pretty competitive pace it looked like like the three was keeping up with me and if I made a mistake he had closed in quite a bit and the four I think was catching me before I got settled in there at the beginning hopefully the seven gets out of the way got one outside okay. all clear all clear we don't get run over on entry like the three did. That car is a lap down. And honestly, that re that start, I didn't get as good of a jump as I thought I would. The uh, four was only about a car length back. He timed it pretty well. So that's good. And the lighting in this car. They need to stop doing night races in these cars. <laughs> the lighting is so bad on the interior with how old this model is. You gotta do day races. It just looks way too bad in here. I need to update this like the uh, Arca car. Though I think Dale Jr. has said they're getting the late model stock like they ran at North Wilkesboro with his Sundrop car. And I think that'll be a really fun car to race. Can't wait for that. I think it's different from this. Pretty sure it is. And six car. That car is a lap down. I don't know where he's been going. Can we navigate one all this without all right, man, dying? That car is a lap down. You're clear high. Just clear trying high. to be careful here. Outside. All clear, all clear. Okay. Don't run me over, please. Don't run me over, please. Got one outside. All clear, all clear. I mean, they're just right, man, massively overdriving down. it. Ten to go. Ten laps to go. And we're massively overdriving it. Got one get around this guy, hopefully. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. You're clear high. Okay, clear we high. do. He lets us by. Thank you. Coming to seven laps to go, I think. You gotta be kidding. Well, three's gotten wrecked again. Sorry about that, three. Hundred percent my fault. Oh, good, bud. 
Yeah, I, I seen you getting loose there. I, I was on the brake hard and I couldn't stop. Well, they're being pretty nice about it, at least. The three, I can understand his frustrations, but he's being a good sport still. I would not be happy getting wrecked twice by lap cars running second. But, uh, six car obviously just made a mistake. Line. Second place is four seconds ahead of us. We are very close that to lapping the entire lap field. Though I think we're the only one that hasn't been wrecked. <laughs> and I haven't pushed really at all, just trying to keep it nice and smooth. This would have been a fun track for the K5 Championship, Season 0. I'd like to do a longer race here, I think. That'd be fun. In these late models, this is a good track for them. Probably would have been a wreck fest with how tight the corners are. But uh, it's a fun track. I really enjoy it. This was the last oval I had yet to buy on iRacing. Not because I was avoiding it or anything, just because everything I raced never came here. Until finally the late models did, and I ended up getting it. That was last year or sometime. One more left to win. Coming to the white flag. No reason to try and push it around the six car. Outside. That car is a lap down. Gonna get out all of the way clear, all Thank clear. you. Nice and smooth through the final corner. And we're gonna get our win. First race back with the new motherboard. Computer's back running. We can race again. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thanks, buddy. Don't know how hard it is to stay up top on a straightaway. Ugh. Take a look at the incidents. We'll enjoy our win. I really didn't think I would be that quick with how I was looking in practice. I, I ran a, a good time, second place time, but uh, I was so inconsistent. I couldn't get the corner entry. Plus, like I said, I was feeling pretty uncomfortable in the car. <laughs> Alright, six car. He's going to tap the wall and then blink. Man, they're just overdriving it so bad. Eight car into the six. You just back up corner entry. The corners are so sharp. That time the six just got loose through the middle. He's trying to get back going. That's when the three is running second. He's doing a wide arc and the eight is just so fast on entry. He just tags him. And he has to wait for the field to go by, but at least he didn't pull out in front of somebody, so that's good. I want to see what happened to the four at the beginning. We didn't see that. Because he's catching us, because I was just struggling to find the line. I'm entering way too shallow, clipping the apron. I mean, he could have probably tried to throw it in right there, but he didn't have position quite yet. And my, my line is all over the place in front of him. It looks so bad. Oh, he just loses it. Okay. That's unfortunate. I thought he got wrecked, but he just lost it behind me. And that took him out of it. I mean, us being so slow and crappy through the corner probably checked him up too much and uh, caused him to slam the brakes and spin out. I think he definitely had speed to compete with us, him and the three. But after the three got wrecked, I don't think he was max effort or anything, so we got around him easily, plus he had damage, so. Five car is going to push up into the wall. Two car. He hits the wall pretty hard on entry. This is lap 40. Six is gonna blink. No, he's gonna hit the wall. There's quite a few people with higher pings in here. The five's getting loose on entry. The six is getting loose on entry. Yeah, the three. Tried to check up for that, had nowhere to go. And. He hits the wall mid corner. And this is what I was afraid of doing. Uh, the five just turned in and tried to wreck him, it looked like. I don't know what that was. Interesting. Uh, but uh, either way, 
we get the win, zero incidents. Are we the only one with zero incidents? No, the seven and the nine both had zero incidents as well. Though the nine didn't show up. The seven got fourth, so he had a good run. But uh, yeah, thank goodness the computer's working. That's the main thing. I spent all night last night trying to swap out the motherboard, get that all taken care of, and it worked, and everything's back to how it should be, and we should have no more issues with the PC itself, knock on wood. So, hopefully we're good. Hopefully we're good for the time being, and maybe we can still get those new pedals at the end of the year sometime when I get that uh, YouTube payment, but we'll see. Thanks for watching.